What's up everyone? It's Drew for Fastlane Emergency Vehicles. Coming at you on this chilly day out here uh, with uh, Command 13 for Merc. You can see it's a uh, pretty slick suburban, no expenses spared. Let's check it out. in the bumper, ions in the grill, uh, some code 3 um, uh, micro fins um, in the fog light area. I'm a huge fan of those, personal favorite of mine. Um, got some mirror beams, white on this side, red on the other. Uh, got some lens underneath the mirror, um, so intersection lighting galore. Here on the running boards, you have three ions per side, as well as two uh, code 3 smaller lights, uh, those flash green for command. Uh, they when they're on, uh, the uh, red white drops out of the running boards. Uh, back here, another M4 on the back bumper. And here in the back, that's where all the action happens. As you can see, we got outer edge uh, on outer edge. So here underneath the spoiler uh, on the pillars, I have a dominator on the roof. Uh, more ions in the bumper and the hatch, and some more of those smaller Code 3 uh, command lights. So as you can see, got a little bit of everything, and it looks killer. It's part of the wind here, but here in the back of the truck, uh, you can see over this gate, uh, multiple white lights, red, amber, and uh, green for command, command lights activated. Uh, a couple uh, radio speakers, uh, red, uh, white and red bug lights uh, for ambient lighting. Uh, on the sides, as always, you have your eye eject, and on the other side, you have the 12-volt, uh, 10-volt circuit for the inverter. Um, smaller file drawer, uh, the rear face plate here with a small screen, a, uh, another Side pull out, which awesome. Um, all hinged and uh, hold your lighting utensil there. So, lots of interesting stuff going on back here. So, here in the back of the Burb, they ditched the third row and the uh, 40, uh, the 60 portion of the 6040 rear bench. Um, as you can see here, this is part of the command cabinet. It has some adjustable shelving here, uh, storage for an oxygen tank or SPCBA, whatever they choose to put there. Um, a cover for the rear electrical and a Lexan cover for the rear electrical area uh, down here. Uh, moving up front, all right, so here in the front, uh, you can see they have the overhead, which is partially our standard overhead, you know, with the large seven inch screen and sign speakers or radio speakers and stuff like that. But they chose to expand on that, like some of the uh, Super Ds that we do and have glove box holders. This is a giant overhead console, came out awesome. Um, so obviously, has you know your uh, glove holders the rear climate control is integrated into it um, some more puck lights the airbag module the uh the dome light control as well as uh the aforementioned the seven inch screen came out awesome glad they chose that option uh down here you can see the console um retains the oem usb and aux port um the uh wayland cider controller i have a gambler johnson tablet mount uh bank of 12 volt receptacles some cup holders some custom fast lane adjustable uh, armrests, as well as mounts for their portal radios. Um, so all in all, it looks great up here. All right, guys, thanks for braving the cold with us and checking out this Merc Suburban. Uh, this thing is awesome. No expenses spared. This was a badass build to complete, and uh, it, looks, it looks great rolling down the road. Um, be sure to check out our video on its cousin, the Tahoe, that we're doing. And uh, as always, uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more awesome Fastlane content. Thanks, guys.